Hey guys, Robert at 3D Printscape. Today I'm going to go over Cure First Layer settings. I'm going to talk about all the settings that I change, go over some of the settings that you can change but I typically don't, and then talk about when to use different adhesion options such as your skirt, uh, brim, or raft. Uh, I also want to make a note that uh, your first layer settings in Cure are going to be completely different than they would be in Simplify 3D. Uh, Simplify 3D has some options where it's kind of more uh, drag a slider and it adjusts everything accordingly. Uh, that's not quite the case in Cure. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that I cover all of that for you guys. Before we get started, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. It'll really help this channel grow. Thanks. Alright guys. We're at the computer here and I've got Cure launched. I'm gonna go ahead and load a 3D object that I've been playing around with, just a simple uh, strength test one. And I wanna go through uh, some of the settings and kinda of talk about what you may or may not wanna change uh, regarding your first layer. Uh, I think as everybody's aware, uh, the first layer is gonna either make or break your print. It's the most important layer. If you have issues on that first layer, even if the print succeeds, you're going to have issues. It could just be issues with the dimensions, or it could be pieces that fail if you're working with smaller supports, or any number of other things as well. So getting the first layer right is key. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, let me expand down my settings. We'll kind of walk through uh, all of them and talk about what you may or may not want to change. All right, so the first one is going to be initial layer height. Um, this is how thick the initial layer is typically. I don't change this. Uh, if I did, I would only uh, increase the size, never decrease. Uh, so if you're trying to get a, a thicker base or something along those lines and don't want to add initial, um, <coughs> sorry, and don't want to add additional uh, layers, uh, you can increase the first layer height, which will increase the strength. Um, but typically this is not something I would change. And then same with the uh, layer width. You can change that as well. Um, again, this is not something I've ever really changed. I There might be some cases where you might want to, uh, but there would be very edge case, cases in my opinion. Um, so I typically wouldn't change these. And again, this uh, video is really focused on Cura if you're using uh, Simplify 3D, they have some other settings in there that make it a lot simpler where you're just dragging a couple of bars and it makes all the adjustments for you. Uh, that's not really available in Cura. Uh, all the settings are here. You just got to tweak them individually. All right, so now I'll go into Shell. Um, again, on the bottom layers, you can change the thickness and number of layers here as well. Same with the top. That's not really directly related to your first layer, but it's related to your first several layers. So if you want a thicker base or more layers, you can change that here. You could change the number of layers in top and bottom to make the actual objects uh, stronger without actually increasing the infill for models and things like that. Uh, typically, I print this at three. I was printing something before at four, so let me go ahead and change that back. All right, then let's scroll down further. Um, that's everything under shell that would be relevant. There's nothing under infill that really affects the first layer, so I'm going to skip that one. As you can see, the initial layer speed by default is set to less than half of what the actual print speed is. Um, if you do have issues on the first layer, uh, slowing it down can help. Um, the travel speed can also have an impact as well. Uh, if you adjust the print speed, it adjusts the travel speed. Um, I typically don't worry about the travel speed on the first layer, but if you do continue to have issues um, after adjusting the initial speed, uh, that's what I would look at. Let's go ahead and move on here. Uh, the travel section doesn't really have much to do with the initial layer, so I don't want to spend too much time here. Let's just go ahead and skip past it. Um, cooling, uh, you want to make sure your fan, in most cases, is set to zero for the initial layer. Um, it really just helps it adhere better, it gives it, it keeps it hotter for a little bit longer, just allowing it to stick. Um, I very, actually, I've never changed this above zero for the first layer. Uh, so it is something that is specific to your first layer setting, uh, but not something that I see you ever needing to change. I just wanted to make sure you know it was there. 
supports aren't really critical for uh, the initial layer. They're more critical uh, for the actual overall print quality if you've got um, just parts that have overhangs or the printer might have issues with. They can play in line with the build plate adhesion, which is going to be one of the most critical settings for your first layer. Uh, so we'll talk about that here in a minute. Moving on to build plate adhesion, um, you really have got your three options. You've got skirt, brim, and raft. The skirt is the most common uh, one used. It creates uh, multiple lines outside the perimeter of the object you're printing. In this case, it's going to be three. I'm going to go ahead and slice these to kind of show you uh, what changing this actually does. Uh, the biggest difference between a skirt and a brim is the brim actually touches the object and you will have to break it off where a skirt does not. So if we go ahead and zoom in a little bit here, you can see this is uh, three lines and it's on the first layer. So it's going to purge uh, the extruder, make sure that you have an even filament flow when you actually get to uh, the actual object that you're printing. If you increase this to five, it's gonna do pretty much what you would expect there by creating five lines. All right, now if we switch over to brim, uh, same thing, you set your width and it ba uh, creates the number of lines based on your width. So if you want it an 8 millimeter brim, uh, it ends up being 20 lines here. And then that's 20 lines that are attached to the actual print itself. And then at the end, uh, you would break those off. This helps a lot if you have smaller build services or uh, parts that are touching the build surface itself. In some cases, if they're too small, this won't be enough, which we'll talk about that in a minute when we talk about rafts. But a lot of times, I'm either going to be using a skirt or a brim. I would say 90% of what I print, I'm using a skirt with either uh, three or five lines, uh, just depending upon how big the object is. And then probably 9%. I would say I would use a brim, um, same thing applies, and then maybe 1% of the time I'm using a raft. But let me just show you this on the brim really quick again. So if we switch this to 10, it's creating the uh, increasing the lines to 25, so if we slice that, you'll now see that it's a wider brim. Uh, brims are easy to break off and come off pretty clean, um, which is not the case for a raft. So let's go ahead and take a look at the raft. So a raft will create a basically a build surface that the print is then created on. So if you look, let's go ahead and scroll to the bottom. Uh, before it's actually even getting to the object, it's creating a base that it's going to print on. In this case, it's going to be four layers at the bottom, and then your fifth layer is when it's going to actually start creating the print. So if you had an object that had a little base here, over here, all right, guys, I went ahead and switched out the model. Um, I, I think it would be better illustrate what I'm talking about here for the raft and brim. Um, this has got four bases. So the Eiffel Tower here, it's got the four bases. So if you created a raft, it will create your four layers as a build service. It will help potentially fix any um, issues with the bed not being completely level. Uh, though, actually, I should have brought that up at the beginning. <clears throat> One of the most important things that you can do uh, to get a good first layer is make sure your bed is level. So first thing you want to do is make sure the bed is level. And then from there, you can make the adjustments. If your bed's not level, uh, no matter what you do, you're going to have a hard time if you can even get it to work. All right, so here you can see how it has the raft. You got your first layers and it starts building up from there. If we go back to brim and slice that, it creates your brim off of each one of the pieces that are touching the build plate. So this will just create your extra surface area just to give a better adhesion, and then it will snap off easy. Uh, with the raft, uh, because the actual item is or object is built on it, uh, it is a pain to get it off. Um, and then the bottom's not going to look completely right because it was actually built on the print. So just keep that in mind. I tend to stay away from rafts unless I absolutely have a need for it. Um, I know some people like rafts just because it helps level out the area and kind of creates more support. But if I'm not having issues with support, I won't even 
goader raft. I would I typically use uh, the skirt or brim like I mentioned earlier. So most of the objects you're printing are going to be different. Um, there's not going to be one or any one size fits all. Uh, if I had to go with the one size fits all, I would say I would lower the print speed slightly uh, for the first layer. Um, make sure that the temperatures are set right. Make sure the build plate is right and set the build plate adhesion to skirt. If I have issues after that, that's when I'm going to start looking at other options, potentially adding in a brim or something along those lines. Um, most of the time, or very rarely, I will have to go past that. It's uh, just very infrequent. Uh, Adhesion is typically not much of an issue, assuming you're using some type of build plate that has adhesion on it or uh, using some sort of glue on the glass like bed weld or something along those lines. So just a quick recap here. The most important thing you can do for your first layer setting is make sure you have a level build plate. Uh, from there, you wanna make sure that the build plate has some sort of adhesion, whether it just be like a build tech plate that has good adhesion to begin with or applying a glue or a bed weld or something along those lines to a glass build plate. Uh, then after that, you would want to look at your build plate adhesion type, setting it to either skirt, brim, or raft. Most likely it's going to be skirt or brim. And then from there, if you're still having issues, print temperature and print speed. Uh, if your print temperature is below uh, 200, I would bump that up first. If your print speed is too high in comparison or just watching the print you think that it might be going too fast for the first layer i would go ahead and lower that if you follow those guidelines you should get a solid first layer which will give you everything you need to uh, get a successful print um, if you have issues with your first layer uh, even if you think it might be okay unless you really don't care about the print at all uh, i typically will just stop the print and restart and adjust even if it hasn't completely failed yet uh, it's just asking for problems down the line. You may have issues towards the end. It may finish with some defects or it may not even finish. So if I'm having issues on the first layer, I'm just stopping it and restarting it. It's not worth spending the extra time in filament. Lastly, keep in mind that when you're using the build plate adhesion for skirt, brim, or raft, it is using extra filament. Obviously the skirt isn't going to use much extra filament, it's just a couple layers around the perimeter of the object. Uh, the brim's not going to use too much more because it's just around the actual uh, areas that are touching the build plate and it's just a couple lines anyways up to, well, I guess 20 if you're going with the default settings, but they're smaller in line so it's not too bad. Uh, if you're going to uh, brim, that's when you start to see a substantial increase. So let's just run that scenario really quick. All right, right now I've got skirt with five lines selected. It's showing that it's going to use nine grams of filament, right? If I go to brim with a 10, well, go, we'll go back to the default, which was eight. With an eight millimeter base, so 20 lines, that's going to use still about the same, so not much of an increase, which is what I would expect. Um, it has more lines around the surface area, but they're smaller. It's not going around the entire perimeter of the object. Now going to raft, I expect that to increase. All right, so that increased quite a bit. We went from nine to 15. So it's what, give or take, we'll say 50% increase, which is quite substantial. Um, and it also affected the print time as well. We're at three hours and 43 minutes versus three hours and 11. So you're adding a half hour to the build time. Really, it comes down to what you're printing. Um, most objects, like I mentioned, are gonna be fine with your standard skirt or brim. Uh, very few, you'll need a raft. Uh, but just make sure your bed is level that, and that you have the temperature set right and you should have a decent base. All right, so I hope that helps you guys out. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. All right, guys, so that covers uh, pretty much all your first layer settings. Um, 
Keep in mind that the most important thing you can do uh, from the start is make sure you have a level bed. If your bed's not level, you're gonna have issues. Uh, from there, uh, make sure you have some sort of good adhesion option. If you're using like a uh, Biltech plate or something along those lines, you don't have to worry about it too much. If you're using glass, it can become a bigger issue. Uh, from there, you're gonna want to uh, make sure that you're selecting the right adhesion settings in Cura, whether it be skirt, brim, or raft. Uh, like I mentioned, I typically use skirt or brim. I very rarely use raft, but there are specific purposes for it. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And like always, uh, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you.